What is up guys, this is Nikolai, also known as It's Nickers, and welcome to another Minecraft video. In this video, I wanted to show you how to build this really big medieval house. This medieval house has three floors, and on the top floor, it has a really, really big storage area. And that's why this house is so suitable for building in survival world. But other than that, this house has a lot of detail and that's why I had to split my video up into two parts. I hope you don't mind. But in the second part, I did something I, I don't normally do because I did the interior of the house. I don't normally do the interior, but I decided to record it in this video. So I hope it was a little special video for you guys and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please make sure to hit that like button. But right now, we have to jump straight into this tutorial. Okay, so the very first step is going to be building the base or the foundation. So we do that by taking our stone bricks and then creating a seven long row of stone bricks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect, take seven this way as well. So just like that, count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome, and now just finish up this perfect square by doing this. So just like that. And now what, it, what we're gonna do is take this square up by three. Just like this. And just as I said before, this is basically gonna be the support or the foundation for this house. Uh, it's gonna be at the bottom and it's, it's supposed to be like, it's like holding the whole house up. So that's what it's supposed to look like. So just like that, fill the whole thing in three high. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wooden logs and create a pillar going all the way across this house to the other side. So just like that and make sure it's one over the edge. So have an overhang of one block like that. Take it all the way across here as well. Turn it around, take it this way, take it this way and make it meet up. So for these corners here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a log facing that way just like that and do it over here as well and now also what we're gonna do is we're gonna place two overhanging bits again there on that log right there so just like this do it all the way around so first make sure the log is facing this way and then place two overhanging bits so again one more time just like that and two overhanging bits perfect now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these pillars up by five blocks. So let's just count here. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. So take basically all the pillars up by five blocks. Make sure they match, perfect. Take this up like that. Take this up as well, just like that. Now go ahead and connect all these pillars together. Awesome, connect this, just like that. And connect this. Just like that, perfect. Now connect this last one, and that is pretty good. So look at the house, it's already looking pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our gray wool, just fill in this wall here. Just like this, fill the whole thing in. Perfect. Now fill this in as well. Boom, fill it in. And normally I use uh, white wool for this to fill in the top floor but for this build I'm gonna use grey wool and you'll see why um, in the later stage because the whole building is basically gonna basically gonna be grey and I know that might be a little bit boring but that's the theme of this house so and it will look it looks really weird if the this wall here is white so that's why I'm using grey so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a support in the middle of this wall here. It looks a little bit plain, so we're going to fill it in with a overhang. So create a row of three blocks like this. Take two pillars up like that on top of that row. Now put one in the middle like that. And now take your stairs. So let me find my stairs. So look for stairs and use your cobblestone, or not your cobblestone, your stone brick stairs. Go ahead and place two there and take them over the edge like that. Two there and take them over the edge. P place one stair facing that way and then a stair facing that way and one at the back of that. We are only gonna do this roof ending for this now because if we do our regular, I'll just show you here. If we do our regular one, just like this, uh, like that, 
This is our regular signature roof ending. If we do that, I think it looks a little bit weird from a distance. You could do that if you wanted to, but I'm not. And also, when we build the roof, it's going to interfere a little bit with the roof. So let's just keep this for now. Uh, it's going to look good anyway. Now jump over to this side. Do exactly the same thing. Create an overhang. Put two pillars up like that. One in the middle. And take these two out here. Perfect. Now take these two out. Just like that. And place one stair facing in towards the wall and one facing outwards and put one at the back perfect now do it we need only need to do this two more times so three at the bottom two pillars up and one in the middle take stairs place two there two there oh come on two there two there one facing in towards the wall and one facing outwards and then place one at the back. Awesome. Now we only have one more to go, so let's just do that very, very quickly here. Place two up like this, and one in the middle. Place two here, and two there. Perfect. And now we just need to do this little thing, and we are done with this. So place one facing outwards, and one at the back. Awesome, now that's done. Now we can go ahead and fill in the windows. For the windows, I'm gonna use um, black stained glasses just because I wanted to do something a little bit different here. So, uh, fill this in and I'll sh fill this in. And now go ahead and jump inside. And as you can see, I did this. So, just so you can see the wood, uh, this is I think this looks a lot better now and the inside wall doesn't look so plain so let's do it over here so find the hole is right there and then delete this and uh, delete the wall in this shape right here go ahead and place in the windows uh, do the same here find the hole and uh, it should be in the middle so it should be pretty easy to find and go ahead and delete this shape around and place in your stairs perfect so let's just see anything more we can need oh yeah we're flying the inside again so go down here and now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and grab our uh, wooden planks and go ahead and fill in this floor right here. So delete all these blocks all the way around like this and fill all the floor in with uh, wooden planks. Perfect. And where's our door going to be? Let's see our door is going to be over here. So I think we're just going to place your door right here. You can place it any way you want. It doesn't really matter because it's nearly the same thing on all the sides. Except when we put in the roof. So it can, it can only be on this side or the other side. Or if you're building your roof the other way. You know, you get what I mean. So I'm just going to put my door here. Simply because it's out to this lake here. Beautiful lake. And I want to be able to just walk out here and go fishing or whatever. So do that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a pillar going all the way up here. And what this basically is, it's where we're going to put our staircase. I'm going to do that right now, right here. And we're going to start by just taking up a staircase going around this pillar. So just like that and take it all the way up to this and then around there. And that should be pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find our wooden slabs. Not stone slabs stone brick slabs our wooden slabs and then go ahead and fill in this floor up here the reason why we're doing it in slabs is simply because i wanted a little bit more space down below and up top here so i wanted a little bit more space because if i place a full block you you can basically walk out the window so and i didn't want that so that's why i'm using slabs up here so there's a little bit of edge right there so not so easy to walk out the window even though there's glass so just make sure you can walk right here with the stair make sure you can walk down and up so can I walk up yes perfect so we can leave that right there now we are going to take the stair even further up so the staircase even further up so delete that take the staircase further up put it around the pillar right here so like that and here all the way around and take it further up and like that and up again and up again further let's see 
that should no one more up. So oh like that. And let's see, that should be pretty good I think. So or maybe Let's just do this for now. Let's do this for now. So go ahead and fill it in here. So make sure there's a ledge there again. So fill this in. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> fill the whole floor in. And now you got a little bit extra guys because I it wasn't my first uh, point to make a staircase, but you got a little bit extra just because I love you. So there we go. Oh, make sure you can walk up and down the stairs. So like that and go ahead and take this one more up and put a slab on top. So that is pretty good. Now we filled in all this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill in the roof or make the roof. And for the roof, what we're going to do is we're going to go and find our gray stained clay or yeah, basically our grain stained clay. So go ahead and use your clay and put it one more down and create a whole row going all the way across. Make sure it goes one over the edge. Do it over here, one over the edge. Just like this. And take this all the way across. Take it two up this time. So two, not one, two. That's very important. Uh, like this and take it up two again. Let's fill it all the way across. Like this, like that. And take it up one more time. Is it one more time? No, I think it's about two more times. So two more times up. We're nearly there guys, and then we have to do the other side as well. So I could cut off this off in the video, but I think I'm gonna keep it in because it's very important. It's it's the roof. It's one of the most important thing, or the second most important thing with this house. So let's just leave that for now and go ahead and start build, working on this side here. So start building this side, perfect. Take it one up, take it all the way across. Now take it two up, so out there, one, two up. Take it all the way across to this side and take out one more up, perfect. So like that, a two more up again. We're nearly there, I hope they're gonna meet it up. I'm pretty sure I planned it right, so they should meet up perfect. It's always the big thing. Oh, and they meet up perfect. What a good guess. No, guys, it wasn't really a guess. I planned this house out before, so it should meet up perfect, just like that, and the roof looks amazing. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go in and grab our stairs. So we can just grab them from here, grab our stairs, and we're going to place one from the edge, one in from the edge, place two stairs, regular stairs there, a block here, Stair, block, stair. So you're basically just gonna follow the shape of the roof going up here, just like this, and do it down on the other side again. So place in all the full blocks like this so we don't have to switch around the blocks all the time. So do that, and all the way to the top. Now go ahead and do over here, two stairs, and a full block, full block, full block, full block and stairs on top. So what this basically is, it's supposed to look like it's holding up the roof. So those are supposed to look like they're holding up the, up the roof. Um, I know it might not look like it, but it's supposed to look like that. So, you know, it's Minecraft, so you just have to imagine what it is. So now go ahead and take slabs all the way across here. Go ahead and do our normal roof ending for here because I think that's gonna look really good. So do our normal roof ending as we always do, which is going to be this. And right there, take this up right there. Take this up right there. Normal roof ending on this side as well. Perfect. Do that. And take this across. So normal roof ending. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see, we're going to go down here and take our slabs going all the way across down here. Go over to the other side. Let's see here. Uh, take the slab across here so what we're gonna do as a last thing in this episode I think we're gonna create some windows up here so find the middle so two from the edge two from the edge on this side and now just go ahead and take one up and take the roof out again so just like that so you should end up with this and now go ahead and take your stairs so take two stairs out there two stairs there 
two stairs there, two stairs there, and then take them over the edge. But we're gonna make a little bit tweak here. We're gonna take this one out one more stair. Just so it's a little bit different from this down stair here. Just one more out. And now we're gonna take our slabs, put them here. And when you get to this stair right here, this slab right here, when you get it to its matching, you're gonna make it into a full block, just like that. And now put a stair there and a stair at the back. Not a, a normal roof ending, just like that, because that's gonna look good. Now go over here and do it over here as well. So let's just see here, we can quickly just add this in like that. Go ahead and take the roof out, it's perfect. Take two stairs there, two stairs there, and stairs over here, perfect. Go ahead and put slabs there. When you get to this, stop, and then take this out. Take this one more out, so make sure this is two over the edge. An overhang of two, I know it's a little bit special, but it's always good to have something special. Now make this into a full block, a full block, put a stair on top, and a stair at the back. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this, delete these two at the side here, and place in our windows. Our windows is gonna be black stained glass. Go ahead and place that in. Now go over to this side, do the same thing. So delete these, delete these two, so we can see the wood like you can see over there. Just delete those two so we can see the wood, that is gonna look a little bit better. Now go ahead and grab your slabs, put two slabs there. Grab your stairs, put two there. Go in and find your cobblestone wall there, and find your fences while we are at it. So find our fences, so cobblestone wall at the bottom, two fences on top, and that is good. Now go over to this side, place two stairs there, a slab there, slab there, and a cobblestone wall, cobblestone wall, and two of these. Perfect, so let's just see how that looks. It looks pretty good, now just go down here, and while I remember, place this, place a stair there, stair there, slab, slab, and do the same thing over here. Two stairs, and two slabs. Perfect, Sl stair, there make sure they're facing the right way and a slab and a slab now jump all the way down to the floor here and underneath here what we're gonna do is we're gonna place slabs going all the way across here again for just for support so it looks like it's supporting the overhang a little bit just so the overhang is not flying so much so now underneath this overhang right here place some extra support place two stairs upside down stairs like this so it looks like it's supporting that overhang even though it's not but it's supposed to look like that oh i fell in a hole right there so do that and that now for this plain wall down here what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your stairs and just place some replace some of the blocks in here with uh stairs and the reason why we do this is because it's supposed to look like one of the bricks has fallen out so as you can see right here one of the bricks has fallen out on the floor and we're gonna place in the bricks just when we are done doing this so just place some around just totally random make sure it's not too symmetrical so like that like that that looks pretty good now go ahead and grab your maybe your mossy stone bricks and just Replace some of the blocks again just to make it look a little bit more uh, Natural like someone is actually living in this house So like that down here, maybe like that Up in the corner here down below Maybe over here a little bit just a little bit around now go ahead and grab your cracked stone bricks place a few of those going around maybe some in the floor just to give it a little bit of different so it's all about the details, it's all about the details. I know if you're building this in survival mode, you might not be able to get all these cracked stone bricks, or it might be pretty hard, but uh, you can just use something else. Wow, look at down here. It's like a cave system. Awesome, if I can get out here. Awesome. So I place two of those, two of those, and like that. Now we're going to place in the bricks that's falling out. So we just do that with slabs. Just place slabs down here. You can imagine they're like bricks that are falling out or they're kind of like support for the, 
the the wall here you can imagine whatever you want but it's it can be both things really it can be both so just place it around here make sure it's not too symmetrical and make sure they're not too far away so I'm pretty close to the house and now place some in the floor as well just some some pathway or something just a little bit around here some going down to the water here just a little bit here in front of the house perfect take this take this awesome let's just see here there we go place this in some at the back here a little bit more a little bit more guys just like this so let's just say that's very good for now so let's just think anything more we can add yes we can add something here let's just go ahead and grab oh let's go ahead and grab our slabs take this this all the way across here again it looks like support supporting the roof but it's actually not so just support go ahead and take it up like this and before we do that we're just gonna take a support pillar going all the way through the house like that and make sure the support pillar on top here is going one over the edge now go over to the other side take the support pillar through one over the edge and take this all the way up so it's supporting that support pillar it's a support pillar that's supporting a support pillar fantastic English awesome just what I like now right here I think let's see right here yes that's perfect go ahead and take a support pillar again through the house I like to do it in the roof here I like to put support pillars in the roof just because um, it's it, it's like support it's like holding up the roof here so just do that here is that gonna look very good let's just see is that gonna look very good no so delete this support pillar we don't want this right there so just take it like that take it like here across yep that's just gonna oh, no, look no wait don't put anything here okay just do it just keep to the plan here just do it here delete that and take it one over the edge so perfect go over on the other side here let's just see take these again and again there now go ahead and fill this space in and we're gonna fill it in with the same material that we did down here so go ahead and grab your uh, gray wool and fill this in on top here as well that looks good we didn't miss anything no we didn't perfect go over here fill this in and fill this in fill this and this so let's just see yep we still have a little bit of time left so we can keep going down here I think we're gonna put a window let's see yep we're gonna use our normal uh, black stained clay windows and one up here as well perfect go over here very quickly before this episode ends just like this down here perfect let's just quickly grab our slabs put two slabs there a slab on top and two slabs there we can go ahead and add maybe cobblestone wall here and cobblestone wall there and two can we do that no we can't Ugh. place two down here then so place them down here instead so now we can place those in for support so it's holding up that there we go awesome now go ahead and do it over here and do this so place them down here so bottom slabs not top slabs bottom slabs and go ahead and place in your cobblestone walls right there and 